papers on a plane. All right, welcome to episode number 37 of the Diapers on a Plane pod slash podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. We're rubbing together. Um, the seats are making fart noise. We're trying something a little different today. Do tell. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, we're doing something a little different. So, so today, uh, instead of talking about a past trip, we're actually going to be talking about our brand Diapers on a Plane. So when we first started our blog, we had actually zero diapers on a plane. And we got a lot of flack for that from our friends and family. They're like, you don't even have diapers on a plane. We're like, well, what does diapers on a plane mean? Like, what do you think when you hear diapers on a plane? Yeah, and to be fair, we had changed many diapers on a plane <laughs> up to that point. We just didn't have to have a diaper-aged kid at the moment. Well, and to be fair, that's because Claire just like potty trained like herself super fast. So darn for having a kid that was super smart and took care of it. Yep. Um, but now, in just a few days, hopefully, we will have multiple diapers on a plane. So how's that? But listen, <clears throat> diapers on a plane is a metaphor. Yes. For for family travel. And yeah. it, it made sense to us. Yeah. And it still makes sense. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Just as a little side note, one of the one of the blogs we did think about starting was You've Got Your Hands Full, because it was what we heard everywhere. But we just thought diapers on a plane had a had a funner ring to it. You know, it, we thought of it when the whole snakes on a plane came out. People, you know, there's tons of people that are like, yee, kids on a plane. So we thought it was fun. Let us know what you think. We have a lot of, we get a lot of comments about it, but we love diapers on a plane. We're married to it. We love kids on a plane. It's a fun, it's a fun idea. So listen, one of the things we quickly ran into is if you Google diapers on a plane, uh, what do you what do you find? Well, a lot of plagiarism. Number one, <laughs> I, it's remarkable how many people just outrightly steal other people's ideas. It's a little disconcerting. So, but the first thing you see on when you Google diapers on a plane is diapers on a plane. What us? The original diapers on a plane. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, it wasn't always the case though. No, but uh, we've uh, we've reached that pinnacle in yeah. our in our journey. So now you see us, and then you get a whole bunch of tips for diapers on a plane. Yep. Tips and tips and tips. How for, to change a diaper yeah. on a plane. So the big thing is if you, it, diapers on a plane, which makes perfect sense, uh, is mostly how to change a diaper on a plane. Mm. We've never written that article. Yeah, this is not our article. And um, I'm just gonna be straightforward with you. I think these, uh, I did not realize a whole blog article needed to be written on how to change or a diaper many, on a plane. Or many blog articles. Right. Or more than 11 tips, because uh, Gabe's going to be reading from one that has 11. I'm going to be reading from one that has 14. We're just going to give you our perspective yeah. as the original we're, diapers we're on a plane go over tip. So my, blog family. My hot tip before we get started is if you know how to change a diaper off a plane, you know how to change a diaper <clears> on a plane. If you travel with kids, chances are... You've had to change a diaper in many different. I've changed a diaper on the Great Wall of China. It does. It's the same. It's the same situation as if you're changing it in your at home. So here's the basics for changing a diaper. You need a diaper. You need some wipes. You need a kid. Take the diaper off. Wipe. Put the diaper on. And that's pretty much all you need to know about changing a diaper anywhere in the world. But. Today we are going to dive deeper into that yeah, concept. Yeah. We are going to we're going to check out we're going to check them out. So let's start. I'm going to start with 11 tips, and I'm going to go ahead and say it here. This comes from a, a blog called uh, Trips with Tykes. Not a bad uh, blog name. Shout out to Trips with Tykes. Uh, if if Trips with Tykes, if you're somehow watching this, don't get offended. Yeah. This is fun. And I'm going to be reading from Traveling Mom, and she's got 14 tips. And again, please also shout out to you and don't get offended, even though we probably will um, make some negative comments about your suggestions. But, so, it's, but it's, it's, it's all in good fun. It's all in love. Yes. Okay, so uh, how should we do this? Should we go back and forth? Yeah. The tip here? Okay, yeah. so I'm going to start off. They're so, going to be similar, because like I said, a lot of these are plagiarized, just ripped off from the other. So I obviously have three extra tips, but you're going to see that most of them are the same. Okay, so number one, research your airline and plane type 
before travel day. That's the number one tip on this thing. So you know what's actually gonna be even funner about this is because I work for an airline, I'm gonna be able to blow some of these out of the water. Number one, your airline type will not necessarily be the same even if you put in the effort to research this. So you could take your time to do this and it could all be for nothing because plane routes change by the minute. Planes are re redirected every minute. They're they go in for maintenance. That I don't know how you could possibly take the time, especially if you have children, diaper age children, to research <laughs> every minute detail yeah. of your trip. Yeah, and it's and if you do and you you're gonna have to reach out to the airline itself. You're not gonna be able to find this air, this info online. You're gonna have to reach out to the airline itself, and the first thing they're gonna tell you is there's no guarantee that this will stay the same. So uh, you want to take your time to do that. That's totally up to you. So so hot tip two: if you are flying on an airplane that does not have lavatories in it, um, you're not on an airplane. You got a problem. <laughs> yeah. you, got, you got a bigger problem than changing diapers on an airline. Yeah. So that's hot, that's the number one: research uh, your airline and plane type uh, prior to travel day. All right. So my number one tip is invest in a travel changing pad so kind of think of this i originally thought of this as like a toilet seat liner so we have several of these they're just like little blankets yeah they're handy they're and they're nice they're really nice um they just kind of protect your kid but you know what bathrooms all have is a bunch of paper towels so you can use those too so you don't have one you forget one you can totally use those well, um, that's actually a good tip because we take we, a good we tip. travel with those we do travel with those and it's just it's got a little comfy like little pillow on it um i really like it i just feel like you don't know who's been doing what in the bathroom so i do like this tip there's apparently a travel changing pad that like folds up and holds all your wipes and everything into it so that is not that is not a bad tip. Amazon link below. We might throw an affiliate link for that. That actually sounds like a cool thing yeah. to buy. Um, if you don't have one of those and you, you're in a rush to leave the door, man, like a, a, a shower towel or something. Take that. Yeah. Put that in there. Yeah, for sure. All right, number two. Number two, always change your child's diaper before boarding a flight. That is my tip number two also. Perform a pre-boarding diaper change. And I oh, don't know. change the words around a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I don't know about you, but the first thing my kid loves to do, all my kids love to do, is poop in a clean diaper. So I'm not sure if that's such a great yeah. tip as much as it's completely yeah. not going to make a difference whatsoever. Yeah, so not to channel JP Sears here, but... Um, yeah, if you change your diaper before the flight, that guarantees that they won't poop on the flight. Um, also, a uh, hot tip, it's always good to have, it's always good for the whole family to use the bathroom. Actually, it makes more sense for people outside of diapers yeah. to use the restroom yeah. before boarding a flight than those with diapers. And not just boarding, but before you're about to land, you need to get those toddlers to the toilet before yeah. you're about to land because as soon as that seatbelt goes on and you're in that, you're in that descend mode, they are gonna have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, and the nice thing about diapers is they hold the pee and poo um, through part of the flight. They'll get stinky and dirty, but then you wanna change them on the flight. But man, uh, regardless of uh, poop, kids will poop in the most inconvenient of times. That This makes more sense for those outside of diapers. Yeah, yeah. So that's a tip for toddlers on a plane, yeah. not diapers on a plane. All right, number three. My number three is identify the location of the changing table. So, Here's the deal, it's gonna be in the bathroom. It's just gonna be right there in the bathroom, right above the toilet. If it's a really small aircraft, it might be above the sink, but it's gonna have a sign on it that looks like a baby. So it's not gonna be hard to find, um, but it's always gonna be in the bathroom. Now, both of these lists have several options. So instead of going into them, we'll just hit them right no, now. And then we'll hit them again, because we're gonna go All right. Uh, they make suggestions changing the baby on your seat, changing it on the floor of the galley, um, or on the floor beneath your seat. I'm just going to tell you right now, again, as an airline employee, you will get kicked off the flight if you do that. Yeah, you that's are... a hard no. Don't you, don't change poop in the seat. Or pee. You're not allowed to do that. You will get kicked off or banned. You change a diaper in the same place you go the bathroom. It's unsanitary. It spreads disease. So you do not want to do that no matter what okay so that one with the hot tip on that one number three which look for the changing table they're in the bathroom they're in the laboratory some flights might not have them that sucks yeah and if that's the case 
Uh, there are some. Those are very, 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 very small aircraft. The really, really tiny ones that only have like one aisle and one seat on either side. So if you're flying on one of those, you're gonna be on a short flight anyway. And like, I'm talking 45 minutes. So it, it, my suggestion would just be to wait at that point. Yeah. And so those situations too, that's where having that changing towel or yeah. pad will come in handy. Okay, so mine, number three, consider using overnight diapers on airplanes. Uh, we, I was talking about this earlier. What's an overnight diaper? Isn't that a diaper? <laughs> The only difference I can think is that instead of laying the laying the baby down, you can have the baby stand up and you can pull it on and off like underwear. Well, I, I just feel totally inept. I've had four kids and we've only used diapers. Yeah. Um, and we've been using them overnight as well. <laughs> so I feel like uh, have I been? Am I doing something wrong? Are there are there special? Are there special diapers for when they go to sleep? I'm pretty sure these are only for toddlers. So again, like if you're gonna be changing a baby, this is a completely irrelevant So that's tip. like for depends? No, it's like pull-ups. Oh. They're like for potty training. Oh, They're like okay. pull-ups. All right. So this- So for tykes, for toddlers, that makes sense. For older kids, yeah. So okay. that's really not gonna help you for a baby. For anybody under too. I mean, because yeah. we have a 20 month old and that would not work with her. Overnight or otherwise, my child will find a way to blow out of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one tip I will give that is not on either of these lists. An extra pair of clothes. An extra pair of clothes. Yes. You need that more than you need any of these tips. That's, we should write the one tip. Yeah. For diapers on a plane. An extra set of clothes. Mm -hmm. We've had that happen. And actually, bring an extra shirt for you too. Yeah. Because I've been on a plane uh, when we had our twins and explode, she's wearing her pajamas, explosive blowout. And I've got this big brown stain on the side of my shirt. Guess what? Nobody wants to sit by that. <laughs> I don't want to sit by that. <laughs> <laughs> we learned that from that point on, extra clothes for the baby yeah. and possibly an extra shirt for mom and dad. So. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so you were on three or four. What were you on? I'm on four. So my number four is no changing table and we went oh, over that. Oh, this is the same one. So if my number four, check with the flight attendants to find hidden changing tables. Guess what? They're not going to come out of the, get your, the fold out tray is not a changing table. No, and you will be lamb blasted, not only by the flight attendants, but everybody on the plane. Like, don't do that. People eat on that. Don't do that. And then don't think you can wipe it off. Just, just don't. Yeah, don't they do don't, they don't put in hidden changing tables that they're a big secret. No. No, they want you to they, use them. Yeah, they want you to use them. That's terrible. All right. Okay. Number five, plastic bags are for winners. So don't think of your child as a human. Think of them as a dog. Oh my gosh. So bring doggy bags to then tie up your diaper. So this is what I'm going to say. Bathrooms smell like poop because that's where you go poop. Um, Granted, the poop that you go in the toilet will be flushed down, but have you ever gone into an airplane bathroom and not had it smell horrible? It just smells bad. So I don't think this is necessarily a terrible tip, Yeah. but I'm worrying about a lot more things. We have lost cameras. We have lost so many things because we have so much stuff to carry that the last thing I'm personally gonna worry about carrying onto an airplane is some more doggy bags to put a dirty diaper in. Um, but you do you. I just have a lot more to worry about. It's not a bad idea. Hot tip too, um, those vomit bags would probably do oh. the same thing. They're free, they're there. Why yeah. not use one of those yeah. if you don't have any. I, I think actually the, the courtesy bags are not a bad idea. Um, you know what, it's not a bad idea. I'm not knocking this at all. I'm just saying we've lost our camera with all of the girls' ballet pictures on it. Yep. We have lost several items just because we have a lot to carry and we have a lot to worry about and now we're going to have one more kid that I'm just not going to worry yeah. about a dog. I'm just being don't, honest. Don't beat yourself up if you throw a diaper in your garbage <laughs> yes, can. Please. That's a lot better than changing your di dirty poopy diaper on the seat of the airplane please. or the galleyway. That's ridiculous. Yeah, okay. that's horrible. What's so next five? one. Number five, have a small to-go diaper kit so you don't need to bring your huge diaper bag into the laboratory. I have never even considered taking a huge diaper bag. All you need is wipes, a diaper, and that changing towel if you have that. Yeah. When you come out of that laboratory, it's gonna be even less. You're only gonna have one. <laughs> You're only gonna have the wipes and the, the changing towel. Yeah. So um, this is what we do. Like what do you need to take? Why do you need to take a supply kit in there? All I know is that I pack the backpacks. I, pack, I don't take a diaper bag. I take a back, but we each have a backpack and diapers go in that backpack and they go on the top. 
They have their own separate compartment. Reach in, grab what I need, go to the laboratory where you change a diaper or use yeah. the facilities, come back. Like you don't need a diaper bag. You, yeah. you don't need it. And as maybe first time moms definitely think they need a diaper bag. It's fun. It's, it's a fun accessory. It's great to take with you. Second time moms, they don't ever carry a diaper bag because they know that's more cumbersome, oh, yeah. more stuff that they need. All you need is a diaper. And a wipe. Yeah. Pro tip. Um, mom's bag has some diapers and a wipes in it. Dad's bag has diapers and a wipes in it. We distribute that stuff amongst all of our carry-ons. Because if you keep it in one one bag, that's that's a recipe for that. That's yeah. actually that's we're coming up with some hot tips here, <laughs> and then maybe some diaper cream if your baby happens to have a rash, yeah. you'll need that too. Yeah, but you're gonna know that you you're gonna know that in advance. Yeah. So you can also go back to the back to the laboratory. It's always gonna be there. It's it's not gonna move. Okay, number six. All right, number six is. Oh, mine actually says never on the tray table. Oh, yours, good. yours actually. Mine's different. So that. Yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah. So, so, so Catherine's pro tips. Good job. What's her name? Traveling. Uh, mom? Traveling mom. Yeah. Traveling mom. Excellent tip there. Never on the changing table or never on the tray table. Darn tootin'. Don't do that. Yeah, please. Okay, number six for me. Outfits that you don't need to take off over your baby's head are best. No brainer there. Any parent should know that, regardless if you're on an airplane or not. You know. On an airplane, it's not the time to wear your cutest outfit. Just, yep. just uh, point the one, of fact. The ones with the buttons down at the bottom, oh, that's the best. Yeah, or just a shirt and oh, yeah, shorts. Yeah. Those are even better. Why make it more difficult? Yeah. Especially if they have a blowout. Oh, boy. Yeah. Then you have to, like, work around the mess. Yeah. Then you have to throw those pajamas away. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know, you might need a doggy bag for those clothes. Oh, but honestly, bag. at mm -hmm. that point, I don't think we've ever kept oh. any clothes. If you're on the yeah. road... And you're keeping blowout clothes and that's another tip for not wearing your cutest outfit if you have a blowout and then it's gonna sit in your uh, or stay carry -on, in a, or in a ziploc bag for for who knows how many hours just uh yeah, we just throw those clothes those <coughs> percolating we don't want we're not taking our nicest <coughs> clothes i'm not gonna take anything that i've passed down from my oldest to my youngest that has sentimental sentimental feeling for me because if there's a blowout those are going in the garbage yep. Okay, All right, seven. number seven, wear the baby in a carrier <coughs> if possible. I can't disagree with this anymore. I can't disagree with it anymore. Like those bathrooms are tiny. How are you gonna get, so the recommendation here is that this will make it easier to pull down the tray table. Um, I'm sorry, it is so hard to get those babies in and out of a baby carrier when you have like all the space inside in the closet. world. Yeah. yeah, inside a closet, it's not even a closet, it's a it's smaller than a closet. Those doors that come in on you, yeah. You can't even stand there and open and close the doors. Like, so I don't know, I don't agree with that at all. I can't even fathom trying to do that. Yeah, and even a baby carrier on an, on an airplane that's like in those seats, like that, that I don't know. And depending it, on the airline, they won't even let you wear your baby on the airplane. So now you've just got something else out that's not packed that you then have to worry about. So Okay, so that one's a bust. Number seven for me, bring a small toy to keep baby's hands busy during diaper changes. I guess. I guess. You know, babies get their diapers changed like 10 times a day. Like they, I, I don't so, know, they're just so used to So whatever you do off the plane, do it on the plane. Yeah, like yeah. The, if your baby needs something like that, then yeah. go for do it. What I, do you know what I do even even now on or off the plane? That clean diaper, I, I give that to them. That's their responsibility. <laughs> I, I say you hold on to this even for a minute um, and then I put it on their bum and then I don't have to worry about it. Like bringing a toy into the laboratory where everyone pees and poos. Yeah. Actually, I, I'm kind of against that. Yeah, <laughs> the, more, the more you think about it, <laughs> the more that sounds bad. Okay. Which is interesting because mine is keep it sanitary. So all the more reason not to take a toy into the bathroom with you. Um, I, this person actually says, I don't need my baby to touch something, jam his hand in his mouth and end up with a disease named after him. Like, so true. Um, Keep it sanitary. The other suggestion is to wipe down the tray table when you're done. That's like just consideration. Um, that's just like cleaning up your mess. Yep. Uh, number eight for me, no changing table. Do a diaper change on top of the lavatory seat. Kind of sucks, but you might have to. This is where that pad comes in handy. Um, the problem with using paper towels and stuff is they're gonna fall off, baby's gonna grab them. This is where you use that nice cloth or whatever if it's disposable pad, that's 
probably even better. So you can put paper situation. towels down and then your nice little cloth yeah. to keep it kind of sanitary. Or, or you use that cloth once and you and you now put it in the bag to wash later. Yeah. But once again, these are only going to be on your micro flights. The flights that are so short that unless you have a massive blowout, you can just wait. Like like a little a little poo in the diaper for a half an hour is not going to hurt anybody. Okay, number nine. All right, how do I change a baby on a closed toilet seat? So, same tip. Yeah. Uh, it's a balancing. Close it's the a toilet yeah, seat. close it. It's a balancing act. It sucks. It's not fun. Uh, my biggest recommendation is if you have to do this, I recommend not doing it and waiting, but put the baby sideways. Do not put the baby's head at the back of the toilet. That's where all the men can't aim for and that's disgusting. So put it <laughs> sideways, put the baby sideways. Their legs can hang off, support the neck. We all know about supporting a baby's neck, whether they're able to lift it up or not. So put the baby sideways. Uh, legs can yeah. hang off, you can support the legs. If you are, if you've had a baby more than three months, you can do this. Okay, and this is super awkward too, and I'm, I may go out on a limb here, but it is possible to change your, your baby without laying it on something. Like you can hold it up, putting in a stand. Mm -hmm. You can put it in a stand, hold half of the body up, stand on the toilet and wipe underneath, um, just like a standard human would. Yeah. Uh, it is possible and a lot more sanitary in that it's not as easy. It's obviously easier for more for a yeah. toddler, but this is something you can do. And if if yeah, you the have a little the, bit. The football hold, mm -hmm. so the baby's uh, tummy's laying on your arm yeah. and the, the rear end is pointing out. It's yeah. a, With a smaller baby, that's actually easy yeah um, and then you just have the awkward of wrapping the diaper around but once again not that hard no and honestly I do that I do that over a toilet change toilet changes I've done those they're horrible yeah and if you can't get the diaper on super tight in the bathroom that's something you could adjust you don't have to completely take the diaper off once you get back to your seat you can kind of lay the baby in a more comfortable position just tighten up the straps you're not taking the diaper off, you're not exposing the baby, but you can tighten it up a little bit. So don't worry about getting the perfect diaper fit in the bathroom if you're in that type of situation. You can adjust that after. Okay, was that number nine for you? Oh, well, yeah. Okay, number nine for me. Change your baby's diaper on the floor of the airplane gallery. Galley. No, don't ever do this. Once again, Catherine will attest, you'll get kicked off the plane. You will get many complaints. This isn't one of those things where it's like, uh, we, you were all a baby once. No, like, it's, it's, uh, yeah, you don't do it. No, and think about where you're walking. Like, this always, so, not to, there are a lot of people that wear shoes in the home. We are not people that wear shoes in the home. We have lived in Japan, we've lived in Korea, we've lived in okay. Asian countries, but you walk outside with shoes. You step on bugs, you step on gum, you step on everything that's been spit on the ground. Like, same thing in a galley. Airplanes are not clean. So, so in, in this writer's defense, it says, on a few occasions, a flight attendant has directed me to change my child's diaper on the floor of the plane in the airplane galley where, where there is little extra room to operate. A little extra room doctor. That's shocking to me. I don't yep. know how old this article is. <laughs> All right. Uh, so here, Gabriel already kind of talked about this, but per perfecting the standing. So I can, hold on. I could see that like on a really big airplane where the galley actually goes back and there you can kind of walk behind. I, I don't know, know. Like those three eighties. Those I ones still, with the stairs. I still don't know. Okay. Yeah, I don't see it, but uh, you know what? Okay, here's the deal. If it's a huge airplane, there's going to be multiple bathrooms with multiple changing tables, so I don't know why. Oh, that this would be works. Necessary. Number ten. This is great. Yeah. So um, Gabriel brought this up: perfecting the standing diaper change. So Gabriel already went over this. Um, talked about football hold. Talked about just having your toddler stand up. Um, it's super easy. Not a big deal. Okay. Number ten for me: change your baby's diaper in your lap. Once again, hard no, you don't change it around other people. Like, it's different. So this is one of the things, this isn't breastfeeding, right? This isn't eating. People eat communally. They eat around each other all the time. A baby's no different. It should be able to breastfeed around people. We don't poop around each other in any circumstance. So my number 11 is the same thing, in lap diaper changes. It's not allowed, it's not something you can do, it's not considerate, it's not sanitary. So we were at a swimming pool the other day, um, when we were in Florida and we had a private pool for our baby moon and Gabriel said we were just checking with our little one and asked her you know make sure that you're always you know going inside to go to the bathroom and Gabriel just said I don't swim in your toilet you don't pee in my pool same thing 
same concept, all right? Like, it's kind of sad that these are on the list because this just shows a very, very, it shows disrespect, right? There's no modicum of, of civility with this. Don't do it. Feel free to, to argue in the comments, actually. Please do, it helps boost the algorithms. Um, even if you don't like what we say. <laughs> All right, my, so you're on 11. 11. Uh, dispose of dirty, dirty of diapers properly. I can't argue with that. Yeah. They go in the garbage. If you want to put them in a bag, you put them in the baggie. I'm not sure. If you don't have a bag, you put them in the garbage. How else you dispose? I guess of you put them in your diaper bag and take them off the plane. Don't do, don't that. do that. Oh, that's, that's not gross. nice for anybody. Then you're taking it back to your seat. No, no, no. No, no. That again. That goes back to the last one. All right. What diaper supplies should I pack for a flight? Well, I don't know. What diaper supplies do you need? Diapers, wipes, cream, pad. And you can leave the pad back. Like, that's not a necessity. Diapers, wipes, cream. Diapers, yeah. wipes, cream. Say that 10 times Yeah, fast. and the diapers on a plane hot tip is disperse those amongst each other. Yeah. Um, because sometimes you'll be split up on a plane where mom will be up front, dad will be in the back. You don't know. Sometimes a different parent will end up with the baby and you don't want to be running up to the front of the plane to get mom's bag. Maybe she needs a rest. Um, split it up. Yeah, and bring enough diapers. You can't bring enough diapers. There's no such thing as too many diapers. Uh, unless, you know, you're bringing 500. That might be too many. But take how many you think you need for your... Times three. Times three, yeah. So take enough for the, for the weight before the flight, the flight itself, and then the travel time afterward, and then add, yeah, at least... At least five because you just again you never know it's unsettling like the turbulence could be upsetting unsettling to them uh, if you if it's a breastfed baby the food you eat on the plane might be upsetting to them so they might need a couple extra but diapers wipes cream Boom. all right so you got extras yeah are you done I'm done all right, so I've got add extra protection so I think this means an extra change of clothes um poop catastrophes or escaped pee yeah, yeah so this is a blowout situation we've covered that that's yeah. a good tip all right and the last one is attitude is everything if you don't have a good attitude about changing a diaper what can you say about your life <laughs> yep i think they just really needed that number 14 sorry <laughs> no yeah the number 14 pushes you past 13 yeah yeah which is way better than 12 or even 11. well then 13 is an unlucky number and unlucky numbers mean blowouts so 14 attitude is everything you know you change that baby with vigor and vim and your life's gonna be a-okay okay so we've covered uh we've covered 25 tips on and plus bonus tips from yeah. diapers on a plane uh, two resident experts here. We've been wanting to do this one yeah, for a long for a time. We weren't sure how it would go, this kind of open dialogue format of reviewing other people's blogs, but I actually really liked it. Yeah, I really liked it too. I think we came up with some better tips. No offense, you guys had some one or two good ones, um, but I, honestly, I kind of feel like those were first time moms. Seriously. And no knocking to first time moms, we're all the same. Yeah. We've all been there. We all overstress everything. Second time moms, and second time dads, like you just you just go with it. Yeah, like, do you even diaper on a plane? Because seriously folks. I've I've honestly I was really shocked that that was in the number one search in Google because I didn't realize there was that much yeah. to it. So if you like what you saw, uh, subscribe on subscribe and like on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you guys are fantastic.